Well, I don't know how interesting this is, but because I've posted so many other service upgrades, but here's one. These old folks having a lot of stuff tripping, a lot of stuff on uh, one breaker, dining room, living room, outside, all kinds of shit like this. So, uh, do a quick service upgrade. I don't know what I can show to help anybody to, um, if you're gonna upgrade your service, but uh, I'll try and walk through it a little bit. I got much time to hear me talking upstairs. <laughs> they don't even know what they got. They got a guy that drinks beer and eats tacos down here. If they had beers and tacos down here, I'd be in that shit. All right, now take a quick look. See at the bus bar, those neutrals are doubled up. It's not only against code, it's just not safe. These are current carrying conductors, each neutral, so that they, when they have current on them, they heat up over the load. They expand, they retract when they get cold. Hot, cold, they expand, retract. So they pull away from each other and they develop an oxidation. With that oxidation, they no longer make contact with the screw, the terminal, and they start to arc and that's how you have a fire. So they made these panels with not nearly enough uh, space underneath these buses then but they never anticipated to have circuits doubled up either up here there's two circuits under one breaker um, well there's a few of them I, I took another one out yeah that's it memory ain't what it used to be but uh, yeah that's what we're gonna do we just you start by numbering them each one I got this under D for dryer this one uh, R for range. So you label each one of the wires. So when you pull them out and you, you put them under the, the next breakers, you know exactly what they are. So you label the panel. I wrote this down on a piece of paper, circuit one, two, three, four, like that. I, I numbered them. I numbered them one, two, three, four. What one, two is dryer, three and four is range. So I know when I put them back under, that they're all labeled up and I know exactly what they are. Otherwise, you've got to take a radio, plug it into a, you got to take a radio and then you plug it into a plug and you got to listen for it. You run up the stairs, plug it in, listen for it in the kitchen, flip it off and on until you don't hear it anymore. Ah! And then you write it on there. It's, it's code to write the, uh, um, to label the panel you have to. But you're going to want to anyways. You don't just walk away from that. Just leave it with nothing, you know. Like I say, these old folks or anybody, they, they want to know, you know, where's that breaker? And they don't know to look if it's halfway tripped or not. It looks like it's just sitting there halfway. They don't know that. So it's, it's code. It's the right thing. we got to ground and bond this. Of course, it's an older house. So we're going to ground and bond it. We make a quick Saturday. I don't work Saturdays. Saturdays for cruising my Impala. They're for tacos and beer, just like every other day. And, uh, but I don't work Saturdays, but I'm so, so busy. So, um, <clears throat> I'll do it after. And then, uh, you will click like, you will share this. You'll do all kinds of stuff. We'll talk about, look at some of the other videos, how I'm, uh, trying to put veterans to work, doing a lot of projects in Detroit, you know, dodging bullets, smell of gun smoke. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's great. But we're putting veterans to work. Um, so that's what we're doing. So if we're bringing awareness to the projects, stuff like that, <clears throat> you know who Starving Electrician is, what we're doing, Electric City Inc., you'll know what we're doing and why we're doing it. You know, of course, yeah, it's to, it's to feed the old gut, but uh, it's also to feed those families as well. So that's what we're trying to do. That's the only reason for these. Otherwise, I wouldn't want to show my fat ass on these videos, but it is what it is. All right, so I'll show you a little bit more in a little bit. Okay, first step is to remove all the neutrals, grounds, and hots from their respective places. Everything is out and all cleaned up. The next is just some loosen all these, they're called atomic connectors. Call them Tommies, whatever. Uh, loosen up all these babies. This looks like it's a poured wall basement. Oh, it's another a bear. But it uh, looks like they shot them in with these shooting anchors. You get my uh, hammer behind there and pull this thing off the wall. With all these loosened, I'll just merely just grab this baby and just pull it down, yank it, yank it, yank it, until it comes out. Okay, and as we go on, I'll show you the steps of how it goes. All right. 
Okay, here's how you pop these things out. I'll try and do this with one hand, but uh, you gotta wedge your screwdriver behind there, give it a couple whacks, or one good one, and hey, look at that, pops right out. Um, these shots are a little tough. You see if I can do it with one hand. Get close, get close to that little nail. They say that shot in with a 22. Boom, behind it. And uh, this will give you leverage when you're pulling it. When you're pulling the whole thing out with all the wires to pull it away. But uh, that's how we start it. Okay. Here comes a point where we take the panel off the wall. Now, all the connectors are loose. All the grounds, neutral, new, neutrals, neutrals are all separated. So they don't bind up. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand again. All these rippling muscles of mine. Oh shit, should be in GQ magazine. You know, I don't know, that electrician taco eater magazine, but whatever. Let's see if we can't get this off. One hand. Oh, hell no. Hang on. <laughs> well, of course, this is 10 seconds later. We need two hands. But you can see we got it all pulled down. This just makes it more manageable instead of the knuckle busters up above the panel trying to pull each one out separately. You can see what's bound up. But it's much easier to pull them out when they're nice and low and manageable. And you can make the circuits out. You know, not too rough, of course. You don't want to damage the wire, but you know, this isn't surgery. You know, I'd like to say it's rocket science. That makes me a rocket scientist. What's something like that pay? Huh. Yeah. Anyway, you can see it's so much easier, so much faster just to loosen them all up at once and use the paddle as leverage. Just shank it out of whatever uh, spot that you're at. There's a ton of circuits in this one, so this makes it a little bit of more of a pain in the ass, but... Okay. Panel's about to be down, new one's about to come in. Okay, the next step is to prep with putting your connectors in the top of the box. Yeah, I like to do maybe four connectors or four wires per connector. This is going to be for the uh, service entrance table, inch and a quarter. It's about the standard size, just so it's not a pain in the ass. You're not wrestling with it. Don't go any smaller. And then usually use the use the three quarter inch uh, knockouts. That's this a half inch, and then the outer three quarter. These half inch, you keep using all these. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to get th things through. You four wires per three quarter inch connector, you'd be all right. Five doesn't matter. So you you jam this one out. There you go. Then you get your trusty lineman down below. Grab that. Couple of twists. Boom. That one's out. Okay. Now we use Lenny's patented taco technique. Pull that one up. Reach underneath, pull that one up, and then this is me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like an El Pastor taco in downtown Los Angeles, King Taco. So I'm gonna do like that, go back and forth, like I'm just gnawing on that baby. And then, of course, you wrestle with it a little bit. Dive over here. I'd show myself, but I'm sweaty. I'm waiting for, what was her name on Napoleon Dynamite? La Fonda. Why are you so sweaty? So, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm dripping sweat all over the phone. Stand by. Okay, next step is to mount the panel. First of all, the phone's straight, panel's crooked. I usually clamp down my service entrance cable to hold it for me. Actually, I'm usually by myself. Stick a level on the side and simply level it up. Let me see. Look at me. Boom. Stick a marker in each one of these mounting holes. Mark your uh, mark your mounting spots. And then because it's already hanging there, you'll have your mounting spots behind there. And uh, you just hammer drill it in. Hammer drill your holes, stick your anchors right through here, and run them right through the holes. I'm not going to sit here and hammer drill. You wouldn't hear me anyways. So, that's the next step. 
course, once the panel's mounted, all mounted, anchored with the lead anchors, we land the service entrance cable on the lugs. One side of the breaker, other side of the breaker. And our neutral, which is bonded to the box. That have no locks on that. Have to, so we don't oxidize. Flip it right in there. If I can do this again with one hand, pop right down. Train it in kind of nice. There's only so much you can do with the existing cable. That's it. I'll repeat with each one. Train that in there. I'm going to train this underneath the neutral. Okay. Okay, now we're to the installation part. Jammed all those wires and those connectors. I actually put my grounds in first. Separate the hots, the neutrals, and the grounds. I usually put them down lower so I can leave space for the neutrals up, up top. Um, since, the new, since the grounds can be doubled up, um, I doubled them up to conserve room on the neutrals. So you can see I'm, I'm probably going to need it over here. I don't want to put another bus bar in. And of course, I got another video. You always have the cry baby. You can't do that. You can't put too many. You do this. Don't look it. Don't listen. Yeah, fucking cry babies. But anyways, yes, you can. Grounds can be doubled up. I try to put two or not more than three usually. Sometimes, you know, just depends. These terminals are based on the circular mills. That's the unit of measurement they use to measure the wire. So if it doesn't exceed, the double up wires don't exceed the circular mills, the diameter of that terminal, you can put those wires underneath there. And these are non-current carrying conductors, these grounds. They're the alternate path, they're like the drain. So instead of you getting shocked, the juice goes down the drain instead. It doesn't go to you. So uh, you double those up if you want, or you can put them you know, separate if you got enough room, it doesn't matter to me shouldn't matter to you either and so the next step is to put the neutral train them back nice and uh, nice and easy you know it only takes a few seconds just to train them and put them in there and make them look nice so the next step is to put the neutrals in the grounds then the neutrals then we're gonna start landing the breakers and then we're gonna ground and bond the service and we're done our pipe three connector Jump the meter and down. That's if you take out the meter or if you turn this to PEX, the plastic, that you still have a ground. This goes all the way back to the panel. And uh, I know in one of my videos I said I'd show it, but that's it. Basic, really easy stuff. So the other end's going under the ground bar. Put the panel cover on, label the panel, and I'm freaking out of here.